broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Compact comments made in open session will be recorded. Okay, so um, on our agenda, we had a couple of things that uh, actually have been uh, canceled for tonight. So uh, the mail folder is out being circulated mm -hmm. and uh, going around. Um, along with that, there's a, uh, a couple of forms for signature that uh, that also one is for 217 Wampatuck, which we voted on uh, last meeting, and uh, some old business at 205 Washington Street, which is just some, uh, as Bob explained, it's some, some old paperwork. Bob, you can actually I need to tool on a 205. On I need to make a, um, it's 217, make a we I think. issue a certificate of compliance on uh, SE 56222. It's a real old uh, auto conditions that just slip through the, the cracks on a house on Washington Street that they just need to clear the title on. All right, so j just for the record, the uh, order of conditions for 217 Wampatuck Street is uh, map B8, lot 64, 310, 311, McGarrell, DEP file SE 056-1007 and the Certificate of Compliance for 205 Washington Street is MAP D13, Lot 2A, Chahid, DEP file number SE056222. Uh, someone I has, someone I hasn't signed. Correct? Let's see. Yeah, I have two, two So, uh, does anybody have anything they'd uh, like to discuss? So there is actually nothing else on our agenda for this. Um, I, I have a couple of things. Uh, I've got a couple of things. Um, one thing was this um, is done on Nakisa Street, and this drain I think goes directly into Furnace Pond. Yeah, they do. So all that dirt's going to go in there all the time. And there's no strainer hanging. It's at the bottom of the catch basin instead of catching the gravel. Because they didn't put in that piece of equipment. Yeah, there's a large no piece of equipment that we were that we voted to put in. Yeah, the settling tanks aren't going in, so this it's type of debris is going to continually run down and it's just behind me. run right it's into the like pond. Samson it's over here. Right? Yeah. It's up here. It's in front of my shop. Okay. okay. Um, it's this way all the way up the road. But there's large gravel. It's not just from the sanders because there's three quarter inch gravel pieces and stuff in there. So there's a lot of gravel coming down the road. There's no strainers in the catch basins and there is no retention basins now to catch it. So all this material times every day is going to migrate right into the pond. Are you saying that is that residue from the Landers work? It's road Some debris. Bit. I don't care where it came from. It shouldn't be washing into the drains with no catches in them, especially without any, you know, no thing to catch it. No filters hanging in them. But again, we are not. We don't have the sedimentation plant in. So now it's untreated. So I just think if we can do, you know, put screens in or whatever to. Yeah, but, but this, but this is actually roadway, not parking lot, correct? Yeah, that's roadway. Right. Okay, that, the so drains in the roadway. So yeah. it's just, this was, area was disturbed when Landis was working this this year, right? Yeah, but this is stuff that's been on top. There's supposed to be a catch, a strainer. You can see the yellow. Yeah. What is the yellow? They're strainers, like uh, right. like you have a strainer, you put your teeth through to right, catch right, the drains. Right. But they're broken. They're all in the bottom of the drains. Oh, they were there, but they're broken. Yeah. Does anyone know whose responsibility it is to yeah, repair it's, it's place? Lands all of it just good. We brought the landers' yeah. attention. Right. That's why I bring it up. If they destroy the roadway, then they should be even it up. I just think it's intuitive to what's going to be happening more and more and more without proper filtration for the water. A lot of stuff comes down the road. It's going to go right in the pond. Because they took out the the drainage system to put in the big drain that, they, that, that they're not putting in now. So there's no big dig. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, they're putting in. There's something going in now. Yeah, but how do you notice the solution? Smaller system. Oh, okay. So they, they did yeah. adjust it to a smaller system. Yeah, it was a smaller system. I'd have to check, but that was my understanding. But yeah, there's not. It's not going to be eliminated. It's just they couldn't put in the huge one that they wanted. So they yeah, twenty-eight foot deep is huge. Right? Twenty-eight foot hole is is mammoth. Yeah, well, that's right. It's, it's, it was it was mammoth. To get I never thought it was doable. Yeah, well, I didn't either, but I'm not the engineer, and you can't, <laughs> know, the engineer tells you you can do it. Yep. 
Yeah. But then you, you, don't base, have the degree you, you base the whole water clarity on that end of the project instead of this up end of it. There are, there, there are things going in there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's the weather, they, they shut that operation down. Yeah. So the big one was impossible. So a smaller. Yeah, a small, a small pair of one them is, is in the future. It still bring yeah, we've got all the paperwork yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it was like my it, first yeah. meeting. And yeah, the, it the brings it down so that we're it's within the acceptable okay. on the mass highway. Thing. So the smaller one yeah. has or has not been installed. It hasn't been installed. Okay, and in the meantime, these filters, these. Um, well, they, they must be, well, I say, I don't know which material, they must be have with sumps in them to catch the heavy material. I mean, because all of those catch basins were deep sumped catch basins to begin with. So you're suggesting you'd like to communicate to PA Landis uh, come to In the morning, we'll go, we'll go down there, because Landis will, you know, whatever has to be done, they, they take care yeah, of the state. they just throw the, the, the screens so back in. Working okay. on. So is it is it our issue to deal with them directly, or is it our issue to notify DPW to deal well, with it's, them? It's, it's really DPW. Uh, I mean, I if we don't get done. action down that way, then we can, we, can make, right. we can make enforcement action, but it's really somebody needs to be taken care of. I don't know how long they've been broken or, you know, this time of year when you start working the snow, ice, and everything else. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of stuff. But I know that right. the the orders of conditions state that at least once a week they're supposed to be mm -hmm. checking all of yeah. the things while under construction. So they might need to be reminded of that. Right. Yeah, I mean, we, can, uh, we can see what tomorrow, what's, what's going on and have them do whatever they have so to do. So that's what you'll right do. You'll, yeah. you'll approach they've been, them. Yeah, they've been good at yeah. everything that we've asked them to do. I mean, okay. they've been on, on top of it. Are you okay with that? Yeah, as long as it's just you know being addressed, because um, okay. it's. I have these two pictures. Oh, no, we need them in. Our, this one may have copy of these. So oh, I have can, them in my email. You can have them. All right, I got need them so I can go to DPW. Okay, sure. So well, you can have them. And they'll know which. She's which good. She's okay, good. you've got them there, so, so we don't take need. These. I can have these then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can have that. Yeah. I just didn't know if you wanted to keep them. Well, I want something yeah. because of, we discussed them tonight, so they should be with the nice. All right. Mayor. So we, we don't need a motion or a yeah. vote or anything there. No, We're I'll just going to take I'll care take of that. I'll take care of it. Okay. okay. Thanks for bringing that up. That was good. Sure. Anything else? Oh, Rick, did you have something? Yeah, I do. Um, at the, can I go first for a quick? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in front of the DPW, they were going to cut all the trees. Do you know, have they done that yet? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, but they've been cut, I mean, they haven't cut any of those trees yet. They yeah, haven't, okay. They're, it's, they, their working schedule hasn't allowed any of that. Yet. All right. Uh, real quick, the trees that are planted all around the town, the center that we have put money into, are grafted trees. They're, the, they're a white blossom. They're a fruitless pear tree and their ornamentals, they all break. These trees are guaranteed, they've already lost probably eight trees. You have to take these trees and do a oval cut on these trees, or these trees, if you don't take all this overburden off, they're all gonna break out. We've oh, lost, the weight of it. lost all sorts of trees already, and if they don't do this, we're going to lose the trees. It's that simple. What time of year should they be cut? Uh, now to spring before they bloom and they're nice trees and they're all over town again you have to do right to um, um we got a response newcomb tree, newcomb tree came back be, with it yeah they're gonna be calling tomorrow, tomorrow. so we wanted to move forward on that um what was that for yeah the trailhead is an access to the herring run uh down through the back instead of like say we're in the herring run area and we have a heart attack or somebody gets killed with a chainsaw or recta. Uh, you can't expect them to come down two and a half miles through Brooks when they could take an, a, a four wheeler, come right in, make a turn and be on us in five minutes at the most. And instead of us having to walk three, four miles to start where we started off, we should be able to come in, come to those extraction points, have them GPS. There's only two or three points you can actually get into that Misty Meadows on. And that was actually a 
bicentennial trail. It was, I believe, a scout project, had beautiful kiosks mm -hmm. everywhere and trails, yeah. and has since disappeared. It's one of the most beautiful forests in our, in our town, and it's a safety issue for people working in the swamp. In my opinion, I work in the swamp and get pretty tired, and if you need to get out of there in a hurry, you're not going to do it by brook. It's going to be a, by overland. All right. The way it is right now, the safety so, issue for anybody going. And we all really voted on it. We we said to do it. It hasn't been done. Um, so the DPW well, I is going to do it. What do we get? What you so the DPW is going to do it. Yeah, they, they were going to so do it, and they can, haven't done it. So um, rather than wait till there is an incident, and as soon as you get the trailhead mode, I had talked to you. I had an agreement to go in and clear up the rest of the trails, and I, I would mean, gladly we, do that. You're talking about trailhead. There's, yeah. there's two trails in there, and the Bicentennial Trails yeah. were oh, opened up. Which is doing it? What are we talking about? Who's Newcomb Tree. What? Newcomb, Newcomb Tree. Newcomb Tree has... Let's back up and start with the address. Where, who's paying for it? Whoever would be paying to do the other ones, like they hired a guy to do over in Tubbs Meadow. The same idea, but just over here. We'd like so, to hire them to do this. So let's just slow this down for one second. So I, obviously you guys got some prior knowledge that some of us don't have. So right. can you just, just kind of start from the beginning, get us up to speed? This has been Stand. on the table for months. Yeah, it's been on the table for almost the a year. Not this table. The street. No, I know. Okay. okay. I know, you weren't there. Go straight down. What is it, Allen's F? Yeah. I'll get you a map. Oh, I know where it is. There's, a, I I know there's it is. two places to pull over and park. There's a, was a nice trail. Now it's an overgrown, uh, tick-infested, not a nice spot. Uh, it answers into one of the nicest, pristine pieces of woodlandness we have. The trails were kept open since the bicentennial and prior to the bicentennial my whole life. Now they're all grown in. And again, when we go into work in there. So here's um, Little Zav right here. That's right. right. Now, you from now us. I know where it is. Uh, Billy, so you take our gear in on a four wheeler and start working down here. at a point okay. rather than take two or three hours to walk through mud to get there. I know where that is. And if we have an issue, an issue where somebody goes down or gets hurt, we have 10 year olds in there, 85 year olds, 65 year olds with heart attack stuff. Um, we need to know that we have a pre planned extraction. So this was, you know, so this was on our table at some point. We voted on it. There was a, there was a bid that went out. Newcomb got the bid. No, no, it was not there's no bid been out. There's been okay, no there's price no on it. It's never so gone it out. So where are you coming up with people? We decided, <coughs> we decided that DPW was going yeah, to do the, the work. DPW and we was going done to try to do it when they had, but we never have got permission to cut. Some of the trees are not uh, on our land, and we can't cut them without we can the without the other people's approval. We have the house on the right side. There's trees there that are laid over and on that aren't ours to cut without the proper thing. We have a problem. Well, we um, can ask them, right? What is the thing then? What proper thing would, would we need? A surveyor to go in and figure out the lot lines, or are they already done? Are they well, clearly well, marked? They either that or get permission from the people, because they're right on the board. You get permission from the people that, that said, yeah, go ahead, take take care of it, then it's fine. But if you go ahead and take them down, and the people say, now you've cut my trees. Well, we're, we're talking about brush, number one. The, the, only, the trees are dying. The only trees that are across the board are further down and they're clearly on the conservation land. As you come in, it's all brush. It's it's massive amounts and 90% of it's not a native invasive species. It's, it's there's, there's some trees right near the beginning that were a problem. That's where the problem has been all along. Right at the where the house sits close to the the entrance way. There's some trees there that, right. and it's been so long now, I don't remember the root. The reason why, but there's trees there that were the holdup. We needed permission to get them taken down so we could go farther. The people weren't given permission, or they weren't asked. You never could get a hold of the people. Right. Um, I mean, that's the biggest would, problem: is getting a hold of somebody and then getting the paperwork that they need to sign mm -hmm. so they can do it. Um, where this was a, I believe it was a Eagle Scout badge project for the bicentennial. Yeah. It was well docked. It was a beautiful, beautiful trail system. Um, ever since I was able to drive, you could take a small scout in there. It's always been able to drive in there and go hunting in there, go ice fishing in there, go trapping in there. And it was logged out in the 50s, and they did a good job, and it's come back. There's really beautiful stands of, of pine in there. 
I still think that what I'm saying is a very important rescue avenue into Misty Meadow, and I know the place pretty well. Okay, I think we agree that it has so, to be cleared. I heard you say that at one point an attempt was made to contact the, an owner with possible um, needing permission to visit. And there was paperwork or a letter that the... Well, we haven't got that far because we haven't been able to talk to the people. In other words, we've made... Different people have made numerous trips trying to find someone to talk to. Have any and letters been sent? I believe, I believe it's, it's been going on for almost a two, year, two, two and a half year period because the it, this tree there were I think the way they said it there were it was going to require equipment to do it more than just a man and a saw because the trees that were down were bigger than what you were going to handle. Right, which is why we got nuclear yeah. tree involved. Okay, so it sounds like you want DPW to clear the trails, but before DPW can head. clear the trailhead, you need permission from a property owner whose trees may possibly be leaning where you want to clear. Almost. Well, so leaning, if they're leaning... Or close, or... Well, if they're leaning, then there's air rights. Um, the biggest tree there that's a problem, and I don't know if we own it or they own it, but there's a huge cherry tree leaning over a barn mm -hmm. that Scott said there's an impending danger and he wanted to get right in there and cut it out. Is that our tree or theirs? Theirs, I think. Theirs? So if that's their tree, why would we be cutting their tree out for them? It, I, well, I mean, again, I, I'd have to go back. Like yeah, after no, just saying, after no. a year, a year and a half, so I can't remember one just, tree. Just for a clarification. So I believe that tree is on their land. It so goes out of the stone wall where there was no action being taken, you contacted Newcomb Tree right. and got a quote to have the work done. No, they were going to come um, tomorrow and, and look and at it. Well, I don't, I don't think there's any help for them to come and look at it, but obviously, you know, what goes on after that is, uh, you know, another story. And I'm not sure if, yeah. if it's, is, is this our jurisdiction or is it a DPW jurisdiction to it's, make? It's our, it's our land. Uh, well, the, we manage well it. in back yeah. is our land, right? Yeah. The trailhead is... The trailhead, I'm not... Yeah. Is it right away to the land? Yeah. But, it, but so it that would be... It's, yeah. That would We'd be... We'd have to look in the book and see. Yeah, yeah. I just, just want to make sure we're to within our... Well, I, I think to, since we're getting yeah, serious that. about mowing it th at this point, I think maybe looking and seeing what is there would be the first step so we know what we're doing. Wait, so could you look at this um, property plan tomorrow or something? The assessor's office. They may have been in the fire. Um, yeah. But the, um, we'll give you a, we'll go the map and pass We might be able to take a I think the, um, the scout project should have pretty much a good diagram of what went on there, too. That must have been which scout project? That that was a, an Eagle Scout an Eagle project, project yeah. I believe. All right. Well, those papers would be in the attic, <laughs> in one of those hundred files that are, that are up there that we want down here. If yeah. We had some more, but yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, and you either freeze or you're cold up there. You're right here, Center Street, Allen Street, First Street, Middlesex. So you're working off of 10, ten C10, C10. C10. C10 on next door. Huh? Oh, this is a C one. Some of them go one way and some go the other way. Oh, you know what might be helpful as well is the updated open space map where they list by map and parcel town owned okay, C10. Street. Well, sure, well, we're down right down in here. There we are. Yeah. Here's Allen. He's coming this way. This is the piece you're talking about right here. Mm -hmm. oh, this this is it right here. That's it. Yeah. So this is oh yeah, that's right. Yep. This is the piece right here. It says from the edge of the road in is ours. So in the oh, this is this is Little Zav comes down around yep, here. That's right. This is Allen Street. Between the so second so to last and the last house. Right? Yep. So Rachel, it's map C ten. Yep. It's in between these two private properties. Property number thirty two and lot number thirty three. Okay. I thought you parked right here and came in here. This is this is that new subdivision over yeah. here. This is the cul-de-sac. What's the name of that cul-de-sac? So when you park at this road, oh, you go straight yeah. in our way. Right? There's no turn like this. Okay, wait. Okay. This is your 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 the other head is here. 
this there's two entrances. Right. This is the entrance between here. You're right. This is the entrance right here. Right. And it's right somebody else's property. Rail. Yeah. Right against the rail. Right against the rail. Yeah. Come straight yeah. in. What lot? This is a lot. What are we looking at? D10, Rachel. D10 or C10? Oh, now let's it's go to C10. I gave her those two primes. No, no. Right no. This is an abutter. Yeah, this, right this is a lot we want. And that's we an abutter also. We have to go to D10 also. probably to see that one. But here's, these are the houses right, right here. No, exactly. And this is the other one. So abutter. we don't have any furniture on that road legal right there, um, according to this Right, because this part of this lot is on C10, and you can see it's yeah. split. And the other right. part is it's on over D10. there. But so, these so are the houses that are there. So, so why don't we just use what's ours and place This one, this one. Yeah. This is it going behind these other yeah, houses. Waiting behind all yeah, the other houses. That's an old logging road, actually. Is that? Is that one in the back road, and then these all hook up together down here. There's a Y. The bicentennial yeah. always went in yeah, right, right here. here, right in this. Right place. in that exactly. little point? Yeah. Right yep. in that little point, yeah. So that's right about where that dark spot is, right? And this, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's something in the deed that gives us it the... It right through here. Right, right away right through there. that area. Okay. Okay. Right there. There it is. It's been right away forever. So it's... It's been kept that doesn't maintained. look like it because it's not maintained right now. Right, exactly. That little point, I guess, I guess. This, yeah, so, you know, if we come in right tight against these buildings. Right here, that's yep. right away, right and there. And that's why, this is, and this is why we've had problem with these trees here, because they aren't our trees. So, okay, Rachel, in addition to map um, lots I gave you from C10, we're now on <coughs> map, um, D10. D10, and it's lot number 87. They also have private property next to an entrance. But it's been active. I've been going there every year my whole life. I never missed a year. Okay. And that keeps a right away open. Unless somebody so says no. I debatable. Is it debatable? Yeah, until the judge rules, I understand. Everything is. So everything's debatable until the judge makes a ruling. But there, there is legal access there somehow. Yeah. And I think it's in the deeds from the land because these people were great conservation people. These people that that house are part of what some of the Heron Run Park area we, we was that given that by that. It would be nice to have them all so hooked together. That, that you could park at the Heron Run, walk along the streams and back. You mean it's a two-parter? No, no. But you, when you well, here's the road right no, there. No, no, but when you called that road, out, yeah, that's when you called, that give it when you called out this, you called that out as lot 32. Yeah, not well, that's that in the butter. Down there. But you called this out as lot something 87 or whatever. But it should be one if it's consistent with the other one. So is it the top or the bottom? Oh, that's the that's actual. right. Um, this that, is this. The red is this. That's eight probably ridge. the house number. That's probably. Yes. There's a barn. The red, yeah, is, like, the red is the acreage of the right. lot. And uh, that might be the house number. Right. There's a number barn and a house. Okay. So on D10, it would be lot one. Yeah. Yeah, one and then one Bravo, one Charlie. And there is a defined stone wall defining the property boundary. Did you get there, Rachel? That yeah, you can strong, go between. Um, so the property so boundary of the wall yeah. gives us room. If the property, if the, the stone wall is the boundary. Right. And they normally are, but. Nothing's normal. So if, <laughs> if the commission agrees that the trailhead needs to be cleared, and it's, do we do we need a letter to the homeowners to? We need we need permission. So I would say we draw up a make letter. A make a motion to draw up a letter. Yeah. And try and uh, get a response. Well, I think we need to know what we have before we even ask permission. And we okay. gotta do find out what the legal access is. So step one, clarify access. Right. Step two, what? see what impedes it. Yeah, okay. find out what the access is, and then get permission from people. If even though we might have legal access, that doesn't necessarily mean we have legal right to cut the trees. It's mostly brush that's in the way. It, it's not. It's all brush yeah, it's that, that's in the way. I mean, I've walked it 20 times this year, but it's last year rather. And brush. I understand that, but there's clearly where it's been mowed before, where it's been taken care of over years, and the stone wall's always been the guideline. I used to cut it by hand all the time. A lot of things we used to do that yeah. we can't do yeah. anymore. Exactly. 
but um, until we're told we can't, we shouldn't assume we can't because it's a very important access so we should, we to, to we get, get in there. Correct permission before we do something. You know, we uh, get into trouble when you do it the other way. Maybe everybody runs that way, but that yeah. when you're working for the town, you have to be very careful doing it that way. So, so the next step in this is to actually look back and kind of Evalu de define define what's there, what our access is, what our rights are before we make any action at all. So, so we, a survey it's a work assignment. A survey I don't think a survey is necessary this time. I think we need to look back in the records we need, and, yeah, we need to look and back see what some see what's in place, and right? Because we, we don't think anybody knows. Go to survey. No, but there, it, there is some sort of a of, of a legal agreement to go in that piece of land. I'll I, tell you if it's. I started, can't remember where, but it's in if it's, open space. People probably have it in some of their. If their that farm. if that forest caught on fire, they'd be wishing they had a fire road in there. Fire, if there's a fire, because, people can do all sorts of things. Yeah, but that's start. crazy. You know, why wait till doing all this work to try and get in there instead of just go put the fire up? Because we have to do it legal. That's I why think it's we. Crazy. I think we all agree it needs to be addressed. I yeah. think we just want to do it. Make sure we do it the mm -hmm. right way and make sure we do our homework right. And fairly expeditiously. Yeah. So, uh, so we talked about a record of access that you've seen at one point, and it may or may not be recorded. If the well, well there's, that's, there's something recorded. That's what I was going to say. I just, it, it I just be got on the, the point. I can't remember yeah. all the things, but I know we've been this road over the over the years okay. before. It comes in tight to the the building. We can go by the buildings yeah. to get to where our land. If that's some is. kind of legal right of way or easement, wouldn't it be on the in the record of deeds for that lot. That well, we that's what I say. I think we got to look on so the record of both lots, our lot and the corner lot. I don't think they would have allowed it if it wasn't. That's how I feel. Oh, I feel I feel you're right. But okay. just because we know it's there, we got to know what it does tell us. And so. I think maybe we should learn a lesson that once we have something that's good, maybe we should take and make sure we maintain it so it doesn't cost us more money over and over again. I'm just saying, we live, we learn, we go forward. Fine, that's all. But we have all sorts of property all over I town, and there isn't enough people on money for us right now to do all that we need to do. We had this conversation in this room earlier today with the uh, whatever his t uh, title is from CPC because they want us to brighten up some of our properties with their monies yeah. but that still means somebody has to be the person that, that does all of this and they came up with five or six areas in town that they thought that trailheads or parking areas yeah. for our property needed to be brought up to par yeah. you know? and that's fine but we don't have full-time people to do this yeah, and, but, and so we have to do either we have to do it ourselves we have to hire some you have to guide it and we have been tangled in so much other things over the last five to seven years that there hasn't been time to do some of these other projects we want i think you have to look at the amount of volunteer effort the state effort and the federal monies and the biologists come in all the people that are working to get these herring up and to improve this system since the beavers aren't in there you got to go in and do a lot of work that they used to do and i think their health their well-being since they're volunteers and they're all good people and it is declared when we got on there it's like potentially lethal that was what we were all told here and there and to go there and yeah it could be and the way it could be is that you can't get somebody out if there's a problem that would be a travesty Again, so Nobody's so disagreeing that, with no, that. No, that's, right? that's my, my blanket agreement. statement, though. That's okay, it. and, and it's, you're, you're correct, and I think we all agree. So um, we, we, have a, we have an assignment here, right? We're going we're yeah. to check out the record of deeds for those lots. We're going to see what the access is. Mm -hmm. Next meeting, we'll report back, and mm -hmm. at this point, we should close discussion on this topic and move on. I agree. Okay. 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 Well, another quick one. Um, this year, we voted money to um, help treat the ponds, and... I'm a herring commissioner and I found out that we may have damaged our fish and that protocols weren't followed and we basically were hoodwinked by a company that should have gone to the fish and games, not just the DEP, got the permits and done the job right. So I make, want to make sure that if we're voting for money to help in a project that all the paperwork is legal, again, that we do a, a legal job 
And I we live, we learn. I'm not defending the company, but if nobody knew they had to do that at the time, they, they did should've. all that they knew had to be done at the time. They should have. It's their professionals. They should have known. Um, but now we live, we learn. We don't go, I'm not about beating things up and going backwards, but I don't want it to happen again. I want to learn from this and move forward and, and continue treatments and do the best job we can. So is this something uh, that you're speculating or do you? No, no, no. It, 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 well, well it's pretty much right now it's up in the air. There's all the fish are missing. It probably was the treatment. And it's since they didn't drop the eyes and go to the fisheries, that kind of is skeptical just by the way it was done. So fish didn't go back down? No. We have had very few fish this year go back. They disappeared. And a lot came up. <laughs> and, a, and a lot came up, and we have had almost zero. We'll know in three years whether I'm right or wrong. But we believe that in the lava state and the egg state, that those type of chemicals that precipitate things onto the bottom where the fish and the lava are, we don't know the we don't know what happens. I'm not an expert, but I know it should have gone to the experts before they put the chemicals on because have of the have fish. The experts said that it, the it, experts it, are mulling it all over, and nobody wants to say uh, anything. I think until the experts so say yes, right a, a lot of the fish want to. We'll know in three years. Well, that's, something killed. Know, something killed the fish. Right, right. Yeah. We, we know something killed the fish, and it happened in Weymouth also. So I'm just saying, mm -hmm. protocol. But, but I'm, not, it. I'm I like to be the devil's advocate. If something yep. killed the fish, where were the fish that were killed? Um, when in we the find egg a state, few fish in Silver Lake, in the egg state, we they find them, but how, where are the hundreds of thousands? In the egg there? state, they wouldn't be visible. They just mulch into the bottom of the pond. In the lava state, they would not be the visible. Been them all, all winter. I, I believe that they pulled the fish into Silver Lake in the lava state when they were pulling ten days after the fish were up. That's my opinion on that, and the actual biologists feel the same, and three other wardens feel the same. But the main thing is, we just I just want to dot the eyes and learn more and go about it more professionally. I'm not beating anybody up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to beat myself up over not doing something right. That's what I'm doing there. I'm beating myself up because I think I need to. I need to learn more and do a better job. So, um, so for the record, there's no action on that. You're bringing up a point. I'm just bringing I up a we're, point. We're, that all, we're all taking it, and we need yeah. to obviously yeah. go forward and learn with as it. much research as we can right. when something comes in front of us like that. Exactly, and make sure that if there's permits that should be filled out, that they get the permits filled out. Um, real quick, that one's over. Um, I think it would be a good, great time to mow Herringbrook Park. Um, in two places, where the parsnip grows, so it could be managed more easily, and it would be nice to clean that out in there. And then on the other side of the Y of the brook, on the downside hill, there is nothing but a cluster of yek, and all sorts of yecky stuff, and you could have a beautiful view down through, and we could also plant a lot of cedar trees in those areas. Um, that's just something 